Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The second way to create a horizontal navigation bar is to use the float property to float the links in a horizontal row. When using the float property, you assign it to float the individual list items and not the unnumbered list as a whole. This is important to remember as you will need to specify a class for each list item. You also set the anchors to display as a block and any width attribute you attribute to it is for each individual link. So our on-screen example shows our unordered list with again the list style type set to none, margins of zero, padding of zero, and then we have our list items with the class of HorizonNav set to float to the left and the anchor tag the display property set to block and a width of 80 pixels which causes each list item with the class of HorizonNav to display in a row horizontally and each link will have 80 pixels. So your browser will display each link in a separate block 80 pixels wide. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.